Hi, this is going to be a short video demonstrating how to export your files and data from your Smithfield Google account. If you're a staff member who's leaving the district or a student who's leaving school or a high school senior who's graduating, you can export the majority of your files and data from your Smithfield Google account using a tool called Google Takeout. Takeout will allow you to download your files and data so that you can take them with you and access them even after your Smithfield Google account is disabled. Takeout will allow you to export your email, contacts, calendar, files from your drive, and any notes you've taken using Google Keep. However, you will not be able to use Takeout to export any Google Sites that you may have created, so you'll need to download those using separate instructions. Depending on how many files and how much data you have in your Smithfield Google account, Takeout can take a few minutes, a few hours, or even a few days to assemble your account archive, so please plan accordingly. In other words, don't wait until the last minute. Also, you can access Takeout from home using a personal device, so you don't need to be at school and you don't need to be using a school-owned device to export your files and data. So to get started, you want to make sure that you are at Google.com. So I'm using the Chrome browser and I'm at Google.com and I want to make sure that I'm signed in with my Smithfield account. So I'm signed in with a test high school student account so I know that I'm logged in with my Smithfield Google account. Once you're um, sure that you're logged in with your Smithfield account, you want to go to Google.com slash takeout and that's going to bring you to the page that has all of the settings and tools that allow you to export and download your data. So as we scroll down this page, you'll notice that you can actually select specifically which services from which you want your data to be exported. So in this example, you can see that um, I can export data from Calendar, from Contacts, from Drive, from Keep, from my email, and if I had used the tasks feature of calendar. We don't use Google Fit in um, Smithfield so this data actually isn't available. So you can decide on your own by checking and unchecking individual services which data and how many files and which files you want to be exported. The other thing that you can do here is next to each section is a small arrow by clicking on that arrow it'll expose additional settings for that service. So here for Drive you'll see that I'm uh, by default going to download all the files and folders in my Drive which means I'm going to get everything that's in my Drive. However if I don't want everything, if I want just some specific folders I can click that button and then I can choose only the folders that I want to export. So in this case, I'm going to go back and export all of the files and folders from my Drive. The other option that you have with Drive is you can choose what format to export your Google Docs, your Google Drawings, your Google Forms, Google Presentations, and Google Spreadsheets. So for example, here, my Google Documents are going to be exported as Microsoft Word files, which is a pretty standard format and you can use on many different devices using many different accounts. However, if I know for sure that I want them to be exported in a different format, I can click on this menu and see what other choices are available. So for example, I could export all of my Google Docs as PDF files. So unless you know for sure that you need something different, I would suggest just leaving everything as the default. But that's certainly up to you. So let me hide the options for Drive. So I'm going to leave all of the services turned on for this particular export and then once I've set everything the way I want I'm going to click Next. Now it's going to bring me to a place where I can choose to customize the format of the data archive itself. So here you'll see that it's going to um, create an archive which is what's called a zip file. It's basically all of the files and folders and data compressed into one big file. Unless you know for sure that you need a different format, I would recommend leaving it as zip because pretty much any device can open a zip file. But if I know that I need something different, I could certainly click and choose one of these other formats. In terms of how you get your data archive, by default, Google Takeout will send you a download link to grab your archive via email. And since we're logged in with our Smithfield account, it'll be sent to our Smithfield email. 
There are some other options. So I could choose to just have the archive created and saved right to my Smithfield Google Drive, and then I could download it from there. Also, if I have a Dropbox account or a OneDrive account, and these would be outside of Smithfield, obviously, um, you could choose to log into those accounts and have your data archive saved there. For this particular example, I'm going to leave it as the default and choose to get an email with a download link when my data archive is available. So once I'm sure all these settings are right, and again, I would recommend leaving them as the default unless you know for sure that you need something different, I'm going to cl uh, click the Create Archive button. Once I click that, it's letting me know that it's building my archive. So I'm simply going to um, go to my email because I know that eventually it's going to send me an email message when my data archive is ready. In this particular case, there's not a whole lot of data and not, a, not that many files in this test account. But remember, if you have a lot of data or a lot of files in your account, your Smithfield account, particularly if you have a lot of email, it can take a few hours and possibly even a day or two to create your data archive. So don't panic if you don't get an email right away. So I'm going to open up this email from Google and it's letting me know that my data archive um, that was started today, June 5th, is ready to go. And it'll give me a button that will directly bring me to the place where I can download my data archive. The other button here in terms of managing archives, you can create as many data archives as you like and Google Takeout will remember the last um, any archive that you've done within the last week. So if you know you've created multiple archives, you can use this button to go and pick, pick and choose from the ones that you've created. For now, I'm just going to download the latest archive that I created using Google Takeout. It may ask you to put in your Smithfield Google password again, just as a security measure, just in case someone else was sitting in front of the computer. So I'm going to put in my Google password and it's going to start downloading my archive right away. You'll see down at the bottom of my Chrome window, it downloaded my takeout archive. You'll also notice that on the page that it brought me to, it lists all of the archives that I've created within the last week. You'll also notice that data archives have expiration dates. So typically when you create an archive using Google Takeout, it'll save it for a week. It'll give you seven days to go and download it. And I can come back to this page just by going to google.com slash takeout and re-download it as many times as I'd like. But after seven days, it's going to delete that archive. The other thing to remember is now that I've created this archive, if I go back into my Google account and make changes, for example, create some new Google Docs, um, send some new emails, those things will not show up in this archive already created. So I would have to go back and create a new one if I wanted to capture that brand new data. So I've already created my archive. I've downloaded it. So depending on how your device is set up, you'll need to go and find that takeout archive that was downloaded. On this particular computer and in this particular browser, I set my downloads to go to my desktop. So if I go to my desktop here, you'll see that there is my takeout data archive and it puts a date date stamp next to it. You'll also notice that this is a zip file so you can tell by the dot zip at the end of the file and also the little zipper sort of icon on top of the folder. What that means is this is one file that has everything that I asked Google to export all compressed together. If I want to be able to access the files within this archive, I need to extract it. And depending on what computer you're using, whether you're using a PC or a Mac or something else, the way to extract a zip file or an archive is a little bit different. But here on Windows, the easiest way to do it is just to right click and choose extract all. And so it'll give me some choices. I'm just going to leave everything as the default and click extract. And since this is a fairly small data archive, it didn't take very long. If it's a large archive, one that's several gigabytes in size, it can take a while. So, you know, don't, don't get worried if you see it and it's going to take quite a while to extract. So there is the extracted takeout folder. And if I double click and open it, you'll notice that there's a separate folder for each service that I exported the data. 
So here in the calendar folder, for example, there is the exported calendar file. So it's a .ics file. I can import my calendar into a new account. So if I have a new Google account that's a personal account that I want to use, I can import this in. I can import it into iCal or Outlook or anything else that I want to use. Same thing with these other services. One of the things that, um, that I like when it exports the data from Drive is if you look in there, um, anything that you had that was already organized into, in folders in your regular drive, for example, this ELA folder, when I open it up, it kept the organization that I already had set up in my drive. So I had inside my ELA folder um, a subfolder for each grade level, and if I open that up, then I'll find the documents or files that I had in each subfolder. So that makes it a little bit easier. It just doesn't dump every single file into one big folder and then you have to hunt for them. So I hope you found this helpful. So um, now that I have this folder of all these files, I can do whatever I want with them. It's my data. I can put them on a USB thumb drive and move them to another computer. I can upload this information into a brand new personal Google account. Um, I could just store it for safekeeping and use it later. So whatever you want to do with this data is fine. It's your data. But just so you know that once your Smithfield account is disabled, you will not be able to create another data archive. So you want to make sure that you do this before you leave the school. For high school seniors, we won't disable your accounts until the mid um, middle of August of the year that you graduated. So we'll give you plenty of time about really about two months to get your information out. So there's no rush, but again, don't wait until the last minute. I hope you found this helpful.